Okay, so in this next problem, uh, using the same rules as the last video, we see a p cubed and we see an r squared in our equation up here. And so from what we know, p cubed is going to say that p is a function and r squared indicates that r is not a function. So right away, we can probably go ahead and say that the answer is going to be a. So that's kind of nice, right? Um, but in this video, I'm going to talk about why. So um, I'm going to start with the r situation. So r squared indicating that uh, r is not a function of p. So starting with the original function here, um, the goal is to get r by itself. So we're solving for r uh, in terms of p. So we're getting r by itself. Add a 3 to the 1 side. We have r squared. But then we have to take the square root of both sides. So when we take the square root of both sides in an equation, we have to also remember to put plus or minus. And so this is where the issue comes in, because if we were to graph something like this, a positive square root function would look something like this, but then a negative square root function would look something like this. It would be mirrored, right? So um, a uh, not a function, but a, a graph like this would not be a function because, like we saw in the other problems, this would fail the vertical line test because you have at least two spots that are being uh, crossed by the same vertical line. And that's pretty much it. So that's why this rule is in place with the exponents.